Hi everybody, how are you today? <laughs> Hi, how are you today? Happy Sunday. I hope you have had a wonderful, wonderful week and I'm so glad to see you. Yes, you. I'm happy to see you today. Our Sunday school lesson today is called The Kind Man. And it's based off of Luke chapter 10, verse 25 through 37. And Luke is found in the New Testament and is one of the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. They're called the four Gospels because all four of those books deal with the birth, the life, the death, and the resurrection of Jesus Christ. That's why they're called the four Gospels. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. And they are the first four books in the New Testament. And that is where our story is coming from today. So, put on those listening ears so that we can hear our story. Jesus told a man to love God and his neighbor. The man asked, hmm, who is my neighbor? Jesus told a story to answer him. A man walked down the road. Some robbers hurt the man and took everything that, they, that he had. And they left him lying beside the road. A priest, who was like a minister, he's a church helper, came down the road and saw the hurt man. He did not stop to help him. He moved to the other side of the road and kept walking. Was that nice? No. Another man, a Levite, they were kind of like church members, um, like choir members. They were in charge of the music, praise, and worship. He came down the road. He did not stop to hurt the man either. That's terrible. A man from Samaria came down the road. He saw the hurt man. The Samaritan took care of the man. He put bandages on. Bandages are like band-aids. He placed the hurt man on his donkey because they didn't have cars back then. And took him to an inn. An inn is like a hotel. He, The next day, the man gave the owner of the inn money to take care of the hurt man until he was well again. Jesus asked, which of the three men treated the hurt man like a neighbor? The man said, the one who helped the hurt man. Jesus said, go and help others like the kind man did. Wow. So who is our neighbor? Guess what? Everybody. Everybody is our neighbor. We're supposed to help and love everybody. Yes, that's what we're supposed to do. So when we see people that are hurting, it could be a physical hurt, like, oh my goodness, I hurt my arm or I hurt my head. It can be an emotional hurt, and that's, oh, I'm so sad. I'm, or I'm, oh, I'm so angry. Or I'm so confused. <gasps> I'm so scared. We're supposed to help. Now you might ask, but how do I help if I'm only a little kid? Oh, there's lots of ways. You can pray for them. You can draw them pictures. You can sing them songs. You can write letters. 
when it's safe again, give hugs. <laughs> but there are so many ways that you can help others. You can you can even help in your house. How can you help out in your house? Hmm. Cleaning up your toys. Cleaning up your room. Maybe help put some of the dishes away after they're clean. Putting your plate away after you eat. Giving a family member in your house a hug. Those are all ways that you can help in your house. But being kind when it's safe for you to go back to school. If you're, you have a friend that falls, you can help them. Or even the kid that might be mean to you, you still help. Or a kid that looks different than you. Maybe they might have a different skin color, or they might have different kind of hair, or they might be taller than you or shorter than you, or they may not be able to walk. They may not be able to talk or see. They're all our neighbors. And God made each one of them special, just like he made you special. And he loves all of us. So if God loves all of us and he cares for all of us and he's kind to all of us, we should love everybody. We should be kind to everyone. That's what we should do. So remember, our neighbors are everybody, not just the people who live next door to us. They could be people who go to our school, people we see in the grocery store, people we see on the street that don't have a house to live in. Those are still our neighbors. And God loves them as much as he loves you. And so you should give them love too. And respect. Everyone deserves respect. So I hope you have a great week and that you are able to be kind to someone this week. Can you do that? Yes. Yes, you can. You can be kind this week. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much for loving us. We thank you so much for taking care of us. Thank you for being kind to us. Help us to be kind to our neighbors. Help us to be loving to our neighbors. And Lord, I also pray that you would continue to protect us and that you would continue to send peace in our homes and love and joy. And help us to continue to obey your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, I will see you on Wednesday for Bible study and Saturday morning so we can make some more crafts and snacks. So be good listeners and make sure that you're trying your best to be obedient and be kind to your neighbors. I love you. I miss you and I'll see you next time. Bye.